Howdy folks, TJ here. Do you have a YouTube channel? Are you a creative type that does digital media creation, making videos, maybe photographer that you're making lots of pictures, or just a home person uh, that takes lots of pictures of family and makes videos? And then you start getting to the point where your hard drives become not one little uh, one terabyte drive and another one terabyte drive. And then you've got other of those strewn throughout the house. And then you've got a larger one like this that you do big backups to. And then you have a NAS, which I have over in the corner, that is an older model that's got three, two, uh, it's a two bay. It's got three terabytes of backing up my work computer and then my wife's Mac Mini. You get to a point where you get all these drives all over the place and it becomes a mess. You have very little organization and I need to change that. I need to, since my YouTube channel is getting a little bit of traction, I don't know if you call that traction. It's about 6,000 members, so uh, enough out there where I need to step up my game a notch and I need to start backing up. And my cat's... <laughs> Hold on a second. I gotta let the cat out. Uh, see, my videos are, are, tend to be kind of like this. Uh, they're just me, just a dude, uh, having fun. And that's what I think the majority of uh, people probably like my channel because I'm just a dude. Uh, I'm not some super specialist that has thousands of years of knowledge and stuff. But I'm eager, enthusiastic, and I get stuff done, and I tinker, and I love old computers. So all that kind of makes this channel fun. So if you're not a subscriber... Subscribe, click the bell, and all those fun things. I hardly ever see <laughs> any of my videos. Anyway, uh, so a NAS, Network Attached Storage, kind of like what the name implies, that you've got a network in the house, whether it's wireless, wired, and you can access your data anyplace. And I've been using an older model for years. It's older, kind of like me, uh, slower, kind of like me, getting chunkier, definitely me. <laughs> uh, and it works. But when you're video creating, you can't have something that slow. Now, I know they have 10 gigabyte per second or whatever, gigabit, gigabyte model network attack storage. That's only if all your devices have that speed. None of my stuff does. I'm just a dude at home. I have lots of computers, as you can probably see around me, lots of old 8-bit computers. Uh, the most modern computer I have in the house uh, is my iPad <laughs> right there. That's got the Terra Master, you're probably a little blurry, but the Terra Master website up because that's the model we're going to do an unboxing of. I'm going to make at least three videos, maybe more. And uh, it's going to be of a uh, Terra Master device. Now, where was I? I was at, yeah, a NASA's is cool, but it's kind of slow in terms of for video creation. You need something that is fast. So when you're scrubbing your video or loading it up, it doesn't go dun, 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 dun. You know, slowly loading up and you sit here and you wait for, I mean, I've got all day, but I don't have all day. I've got stuff I've got to get done. So having something faster would be it. So what's a DAS, D-A-S, direct attached storage? Kind of like a NAS. It's got multiple bays. You can stick hard drives in. What's cool about the one that I purchased is that it has a RAID system built in so you can back up uh, and it does it all for you. And I'm, I, you may see some tears coming from my eyes because I've got bad allergies day and the lights are thick. <laughs> so I'm going to be crying a little bit. But it could be crying because I'm so happy to have a new device that I just arrived. My NAS is old. My DAS is new. The DAS is directly attached to I am a video creator on that iPad Air 5, about a year old. I have it connected up to a nice big 32-inch uh, HP display. And you'll see that I've got the Terra Master. It's called a D5 Hybrid. D5 Hybrid. And it's a DAS, direct attached storage. What's that mean? Well, for video creators, it means that you can have direct connection to the drive fast, like a SSD drive. None of these, by the way, are SSDs. These were old spinning drives. So even connecting these directly up to my iPad... When I loaded up a video, it was chunky. It took a little bit, but it worked. How about if I connect an SSD? So this D5 hybrid model that I'm going to unbox for you today is cool. D5, well, there's only two bays you can see on that thing, right? 
Well, it's got two big drive bays that you can connect your, tish, uh, your typical, say, uh, ex, uh, SATA drive that you can buy inexpensively these days. You can buy four, six, eight, ten, twenty terabyte drives for the cheap. So I can really now connect two larger drives in there for what we call uh, long-term backups that whatever I throw there is not something I need to work from. It's older stuff that I can grab if I ever need it. And there's two of them. So I'm going to mirror. It's got a RAID system built in. So one drive dies. The other one's got the data. You slap another drive in. It copies to each other. And you have everything that you've been working on for years saved. So that's cool. And you can buy these you know, SATA drives relatively inexpensively. The D5 part stands for, though, there's three more things, three more bays. And they're bays inside the device that you can easily get to by sliding off the cover. And you can connect three high-speed NVMe M2 style 2280 cards in of various sizes. I happen to have purchased a one terabyte that you can directly work from it's got USB-C 3.2, I think, which is high speed that I can read and write to much quicker than I'm used to. And I can use my hot drive, my everyday drive with my iPad set up, making my videos, editing my videos, rendering and all that stuff in fast speed. And then when I want to archive, I throw the archives over to the chunky drives that are slow, but they're nice backup in case something ever happens. So, let's do an unboxing. It's called the TerraMaster D5 Hybrid. I've seen no videos on YouTube yet about it, which is, it's a brand new product. So, I could be, this could be the world premiere. Well, of course, it's TJ's YouTube channel, but my premiere of the device. So, today is unboxing. Uh, the next video I'll make is me setting it up, installing two drives, plus I purchased an NVMe uh, drive. I'm going to set it up. Connect it up to my video editing station back here. And then we'll talk about some of the benefits of all of it. And then maybe I'll make a long-term video later of how is this device working? Did it do everything I needed it to do? So here's this box that I received. It came in a TerraMasta box. TerraMaster is www.terra-master.com. I always say minus sign. Terra minus sign master. Because I some people think the underscore is a hyphen. Uh, it's a minus. <laughs> so anyway, small box. So this is a two-bay device. So if you go on any of the uh, Ebays and all those type of things, you can typically purchase a two-bay NAS anywhere from, say, the high 100s to, to 300 range for a two-bay, decent brand, decent quality, including Terra Master offers a lot of them. Now, the DAS is a little different. This particular one's on sale right now for $219, which really caught my eye. TerraMaster has been around for a long time, kind of like Synology and QNAP. It's definitely one of those brands that have caught my eye for a while. And in fact, when I need a new NAS, uh, I'm going to replace out my old one over there, probably with a TerraMaster, as long as my testing of this goes well. So let's do an unboxing. Inside the box is another box. <laughs> TerraMaster box number two. So they packed it well. This came directly from, I believe, China. So uh, when I ordered it, I ordered it directly from the TerraMaster website because it's a brand new product. It's not available yet on, I looked on Amazon. It wasn't there yet. So anyway, here's just a plain Jane TerraMaster box. And we're going to pop open the top. Nice multi-fold box. Everything's protected. The side of the box says model D5. D5 hybrid. Direct attached storage. DAS. D-A-S. Disk enclosure. So this is strictly an enclosure. You need to provide your own drives. So it came all very well packed. So there's these uh, protectors on the side. It looks like the DAS is all protected like a bug in a rug. As snug as a bug in a rug. <laughs> There is a box here with a nice little finger hole. See, I quickly grabbed it out of that box. You know, that's forward thinking. You know, that's, you don't want to, sometimes opening a box itself takes hours because you've got the thing all tight in there. They put a little finger hole in here and you can take it out. We'll look at all those things in a second. And then inside here is the rest of the drive. Let me scoop it out. 
and throw the box over here. All nice and snug. It's got plastic wrap around it, so it arrived safely. And I'm going to take these little buns off, and I'm going to put this someplace. I'm running out of room. Uh, we'll, we'll put it back here for right now. So let's see what's in the box. So inside this little box, obviously it's going to be the power supply and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Uh, power supply. Any special information on there? I can't see. Can you see? <laughs> I can't see anything at my age. I'm getting older and it's like, even though you got the bifocals, uh, power supply, <laughs> I'm not going to read how many watts it is. It's, it's obviously designed to run that. It came with, it looks like a, a USB-C style cable. The nice thing is my iPad setup. I'm using a Kensington dock. So you'll see that I've got an iPad back there. I think you can see. Uh, and then it's connected to a big screen TD, uh, T, no, monitor, not a TV, monitor, uh, with a um, extended desktop. So I have nice big video area to make all my videos. And I use LumaFusion on my iPad. So uh, inside the box is, oh, look, they even provided a little screwdriver. I probably can't see it in the plastic bag. And a little looks like a SIM device, but I'm guessing it's probably like a reset type of button. There's probably a reset on this thing. Uh, some screws, some screws, because these bays are toolless for your normal 3.5 SATA drive. But if you're dropping in a smaller 2.5 drive, you use those screws. It's got some stickers so you can label the drives. Now, even though this thing's going to make me more organized, I'm not that organized. Uh, I'm just not the type to write down what's on there. It's going to be bay one, bay two. That's it. What's on there is hopefully going to be the next two, three years of my iPad videos for my YouTube channel. And you're watching this so you know where that is. Uh, inside is also some documentation. Empty box. Uh, it looks like uh, compensation promises. I guess it's kind of like a warranty. <laughs> Compens I've never heard of it called it that. Compensation promises. And it's in all these different languages. Uh, then, oh, here's the limited limited warranty. And I forget, is this a one-year warranty, two-year? I'm not going to read this live on camera, but it's got a warranty. I'll find that out later, maybe for the next video. Uh, I'll put this one over here. It's got a, looks like a quick installation card, couple-sided, that show you how to get in and put the drives in the bays, and then how to open up the side of the unit to put your NVMe into and then more quick installation. Uh, it has barcode. So obviously it's a manual that I'm probably going to need to barcode, scan, to read. That's the norm these days. I mean, when's the last time you received a full-fledged manual with anything you purchased? Uh, some products still come with them, but not all of them. So uh, they're being environmentally friendly. And then there's a TPC back upper backup software. Now, this is a Windows-based program. I'm not a Windows person. I do have on a dual boot system a Windows system, Windows 10, that I can use if I need to. I will explore this software later. But my hope, since I'm invested in the Mac OS, Apple, iPad world, that I'll figure out a backup routine there. Those are all things to be seen still on how I'll automate it, but I'll walk you through it as the time comes. Drive. You want to see the drive. So, let me grab the drive. So... The drive came in this nice plastic sheath. And this is brand spanking new. This is a new product. And I was surprised there were no videos on it yet. And it's like, why don't they have videos on there? The hybrid is what's really interesting me because most, like, they make a drive that looks just like this unit, but it's a NAS and it's two bays and it's only two bays. There's no uh, NVMe card access. Uh, and uh, it looks cool, but it didn't have the high speed that I wanted. I guess you could typically, you know, you could slap two SSD type of drives in here, but I like the idea of long-term storage and then fast high speed access for video editing. So here's what the front of the device looks like. This is a little deviation for TerraMaster. If you've been watching TerraMaster for a while, 
their units have been a very bright silver. Here's the side. And it's got, these are little ribs or little uh, air vents. It says Terra Master on there. <coughs> so most of their drives, Terra Master, are either drive bays, raid uh, bays, or NASAs. And uh, they've been silver. This is kind of a sexy black color. The other side, same thing. It's basically got the Terra Master and it's got air vents. Uh, it looks like there's little how to get raid. So uh, there's also a 24 hour, it looks like uh, it says 24 hour, we provide uh, quick service, it says. So that's cool. Uh, this side, I don't know, but there's a little sticker on how to set up the raid. So this is just not a drive bay. This is a raid. Uh, it's got limited raids compared to a NAS, like NAS has normally got 0, 1, uh, 3, 5, 10. I think this one only has two main ones, and the S, the NVMe cards are single bays, single drives. They're not rated in any way. Uh, then you've got the uh, big drive bays here, which is the front, and I'm showing you that now. The, I believe this top part pushes in. You see, it's kind of got a lock mechanism. And that allows you to then pull out the bay. Voila! And then when you push it in, it locks into place. Very sleek. I like it. Uh, the back of the unit's got a big fan vent hole. And on the back are your, your ports. So it's got a power port, a little selector for what raid level you want. And it looks like uh, uh, J-Bod, Raid 0, Single, and Raid 1. Uh, I'll be doing a mirror of the two drive bays in here makes sense for what I do. And then it's got the 3.2 USB port. So it is USB 3.2. So it's fairly speedy, much speedier than anything I have in the house. This old drive, it's one terabyte. It's not an SSD. Uh, I had to wait when I was scrubbing video. I shouldn't have to do that. Uh, in my next video, I'll also do some testing to show you what speeds I'm getting out of this. But anyway, the device looks sleek. Here's the top. And the bottom's got, you know, nice little feetsies here that you can, uh, so you don't have, you've got some whirly drives in here. I'm connecting good old SATA uh, spinning drives. So it, some of them are a little noisier than others. So having a nice rubber feets and nice grip on the desk, uh, keep the noise down a little bit. So looks good. Again, I like this push mechanism. There's no locks on here. So if you're doing this from a work environment and you're afraid somebody is going to come in and steal the drive, uh, I mean, they're just going to take the whole drive if they're going to take it. They're not going to go, okay, let me open it up and take this to drive. They're just going to grab the whole thing. And the only person that's going to steal anything here in my house is my wife, <laughs> uh, my dogs, my cats. I guess if somebody broke into the house, which we hope that never happens. But if that happens, shit happens, right? Anyway, this looks beautiful. It's small. It feels fairly rugged. The side, you'll see there's a, kind of a slice or slit here. This whole side comes off, and then inside here will be some bays for your NVMe cards, up to three. So I can have not one, not two, but three NVMe high-speed accessible by my iPad or whatever I connect to it. I'm going to format these as Mac, so I can connect my MacBook Pro to it. I can connect my iPad to it. It's going to be a holiday for me. So anyway, this is the first premiere look at what this little device looks like. It looks good. I love the little Terra Master logo. The, uh, and these are little holes in all this to get some air pulled through and get everything nice and cool. So that is my unboxing video. Again, this is a Terra Master D5 hybrid. Uh, two big bays for your typical old spinning SATA uh, drives. Or you can connect uh, uh, SDDs in there too if you like. But for me, I just... I purchased two four terabyte drives. I figure for my video, that should hopefully get me through another year or two. I could have purchased, you know, uh, an eight, 10, 20. I just a little, little less cash right now because these aren't super expensive, but it still adds up. $219 as of right now for the DAS. Uh, I spent about $100 buying two refurb quality uh, from, and they're good Hitachi brand. Uh, four terabyte drives, and then one brand new NVMe, uh, one terabyte for high speed video editing that I'll do it to. And then as time progresses, maybe I'll buy later on some bigger drives and I can expand it as I grow. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. So if you're a, 
a fellow YouTuber like me, influencer, uh, creative uh, person, creative media, a digital media person, or just a mom and dad or daughter or a husband or wife or whatever at home making content and you're tired of having all these drives and no labels because you're as disorganized as me saying what they are, I'm now going to get that straightened out. So I'm going to have just a nice work environment back here to do all my videos. I'll have my DAS for quick in and out of making videos and long-term backup solutions. So that's why I like this hybrid idea. I think it's brilliant. So thank you very much for watching the video. Next one up again will be a me first connecting up drives, showing you how that process goes, connecting it up to a, a, my Mac, formatting the drives, getting everything ready Make sure that it works on my iPad. Maybe do a speed test to see what the speeds are between the NVMe and the SATA drives. And then that's it. And then a third video will be long-term. How has this whole process been working? And we'll go from there. So thanks for watching the video. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. You thought I said goodbye. Well, I did. But I remembered, hey, let's talk about some of the specs. That's probably an important thing as well. Obviously, I'm going to put the link down below to TearMaster's website, a link to where this product is. You could read the descriptions there and the specs, but in a nutshell, it's got two disk slots that can handle either two 3.5 SATA HDDs or 2.5 SATA HDDs uh, or SSD equivalents. So if you've got a couple of 2.5 SATA SSD, so be it. Uh, then there's three N or M2 2280 NVMe slots, three, they were all acting as single drives, but that's great for video creation, uh, for what I'm gonna be doing. That's the beauty of this product, I think it's really cool. File systems that it can handle, NTFS, APFS, Mac OS, FAT32, EXT4, and XFAT. So pretty much that covers your Windows, Linux, Mac OS, uh, Older systems that go off of the FAT system, FAT32. So yeah, you've got all your major. Maximum internal raw, it says. 68 terabytes. 22 terabyte drives times two, plus eight terabyte drive times three. So it looks like the maximum are two 22 terabyte big drives in your main bays, and then up to three eight terabyte, I mean eight terabyte SSDs, um, NVMEs aren't going to be super cheap, although pricing of all that's considerably different than decades ago. So that's a pretty dang big capacity. Capacity will vary along with the RAID type, it says. Okay, cool. RAID supported, single disc, JBOD, uh, RAID 0 and RAID 1. So definitely not as many as your typical NAS does, but for people like me, this is perfect. Uh, then it's hardware RAID, so not software, it's hardware RAID. Uh, RAID auto rebuilding. I believe that typically means if one drive fails, you plug a new drive in and it can rebuild the other drive with all the data from the drive that's good, which is what a RAID basically does. So awesome. Uh, HDD sleep, which is good. Uh, when you're not using, you want those drives to go to rest. Sleep, quiet. So that's built in. Uh, USB, USB 3.2, Type-C, Gen 2, up to 10 gigabytes per second. Gigabits per second? Gigabytes per second. I think it's gigabytes per second. <laughs> I always get confused. B is bits or bytes or bacon. <laughs> um, power socket, DC in 12 volt. Uh, read, so speeds, they're telling you what, and this speed can be different depending on what type of drive you're buying, but it says for reading speed, 565 megabytes per second SSD or read 960 megabytes per second. Uh, and those, it appears for SSD, for the M2 SSD, up to 980 megabytes per second. Uh, writing speed, you've got 524 for the SSD or 956 for the SSD times two. I'm wondering if they're tying two together in a particular speed raid where you're not getting a mirroring of it, but you're getting the speed of writing the two drives. That's probably where they're getting these big numbers from. And again, your NVMe needs to be a high speed one as well. Uh, writing speed, 880 megabytes for the M2 SSD. So all that, you know, if you're intricate for the data, 
Go to the website and read about it, but I'm just reading off what the cheat sheet told me. Size of the box, you probably don't really care about, but it's relatively small. Fan mode, smart, so there's obviously a fan, 19 dB, uh, uh, using two SATA HDDs and SSDs in standby mode. So it's telling you what the sound level is going to be. It sounds like it's fairly quiet when it's not going nuts, but if you buy some old enterprise hard drives in there, you're going to get some good spinning and humming, I'm sure. Uh, noise level, the microphone is placed at a distance of one meter from the device. Background noise, 17.3 dBs. Uh, anything else in here? Power supply is 40 watts. And this will work on your typical 100 volt to 240 volt AC. Uh, anything else of value in here? There are certain drives. When you go to the TerraMaster website, it does have recommended brands and models of drives to try. I'm sure they realize some, not everybody's going to buy those specific ones. Sometimes buying a specific one may mean they're, not out of, they're no longer in stock or they're hard to get. Most people are just going to probably buy good quality drives and slap them in here. So I'm hoping what I purchased works. If it doesn't, it's my fault for not sticking to their list. But we shall see. If they don't work, I've got the older NAS I can plug them into. But we'll see how this goes. I did buy a good brand of the NVMe. That was the most important part for me because I'm writing and reading to it daily all the time. The other drives, I just they can be whatever speed they want as long as I have a long-term backup. And I think that's it. So now we can say bye.